Hi guys, welcome back to part two of this um, introduction to lights inside of um, After Effects. Now, um, if you've just joined us in this one and you're looking at learning how to relight footage inside of After Effects, um, feel free to have a look at our setup from our first video, which will be in the link in the description below. But literally, all we've got going on is we've got our footage here. Um, girl, girl's face is, is quite underlit and the background, you've got quite a lot of brights here. So we just want to relight her face to bring her face out. So all we've got is our footage. Again, link to the footage will be in the description. We've got a spotlight on her, and we've basically just um, got this sort of light um, aimed at uh, Check the settings of our light options by year. Intensity is 139. Let's just push that to 140, just to round it up. Uh, cone angle is 124. Maybe bring this in just a touch for, for this relighting. So I'm going to bring this to 105. Okay, and our feather as well. I'm going to bring that up to 100. Okay, so these are actually the new settings. So intensity 140, cone angle 105, cone feather 100. And I haven't touched any of these down here. I did, however, go into the material options in the footage of the girl and had a little play around. So I've got my ambient at 100, diffuse at 100, and specular intensity at 19. And I think I'm just going to bring that to 18. Okay. So we've got this, and that's all very good, and I've done it at the four second mark, okay? So those settings at the four second mark. However, when my footage moves, the light doesn't follow it, okay? So what we want to do is we want to actually motion track this light so it follows her face, okay? And then we want to pre-comp pre this onto the footage using a blending mode, okay? So we're really making her pop like in this example by here, where if we turn this pre-comp off, you know, we're bringing her face out there just to make her stand out some more in comparison to the original. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the footage of the girl. We're going to go to track motion and then I'm going to get my tracking point, bring this out and I'm going to match this up to her nostril by here because we've got a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to bring that box in like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to track backwards. And once that is completed to the zero seconds, I probably will skip this because I'll be waiting around. I'll rejoin you then. Okay, so um, all I've done then is I've motion tracked um, the nostril all the way to the beginning. And then I went back to four seconds and I've clicked analyze forward. And I've only done it up to the eight second mark because the footage actually starts to fade out. Then it's just the footage I downloaded, okay? So I've only done it to this eight second mark by here. Okay, so if you if you um, need to kind of uh, know a little bit of motion tracking, I'll also link some motion tracking videos to um, this below so you can kind of have a look at motion tracking. But I am going to go on the assumption that you've done that before. So now that I've got this data, what I'm going to do is make a new null object. So I'm going to right click new null object. Okay, I'm going to make this null object 3D. I'm going to click edit target, make sure null 2 is selected. Then I'm going to go apply and I'm going to apply to the X and Y. Okay, so what I've got now is I've got this null object that follows this girl's nostril. Cool. So coming into the spotlight, I'm going to go into the transform and I'm going to alt or option click point of interest and I'm going to pick whip this to, so let's get the position up here. I'm going to pick whip this to the position of my null. Okay, so Alt or Option click point of interest, pick whip it to the position properties. And what will happen now is the point of interest of this light will follow the girl around the footage, okay? Now, what I have actually had to do in the other footage is with the, you, have, you lose a little bit of intensity at the beginning. So at four seconds, we've got those kind of bright spots. So what I will also do is set a keyframe for my position of the actual light, come back to the beginning, and I'm actually going to move this over here and maybe down a bit so we've got a lot more focused intensity on the actual subject. Okay. And then follow through. That kind of sticks to there. I think it could come down a little bit just to kind of focus more on her. So light definitely follows her here. And then just come through to the end, to this bit by here, and move the light just back across. So again, we're definitely more focused on her. So a little bit of jiggly pokery, but now we've got that following her, and that is grand. That's great. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
shift select th these bunch. I'm gonna then go to layer, pre-compose, and I'm gonna call this relighting girl, okay? And move all attributes into new composition. So what we've got is we've just put this into its own compositions. We've got relighting girl. If we were to get our footage now and put our footage below and then change our top layer to lighten. Where's lighten? There we go. Okay, so what we've got when we turn this on and off, we've actually got that little bit that we're bringing out there, okay? So as we pull through, that'll follow through. So we're really bringing that back through. Okay, so that follows all the way through. And you can go back into it if, if, if you want to and kind of keyframe, again, add some more. Let's go into here. You can add some more kind of keyframes into the actual position of the light. Or if you want to, you can keyframe the cone angle. Now, this is just one of the many ways of relighting footage in, in um, side of uh, After Effects. But you can see as I turn it on and off, we are definitely making that pop a little bit more. Something you can also do is go into go onto your background footage, go to effects and presets, and when it loads, and what we can do is then chuck a curves onto our background footage. So if I type curves in here, we can put this onto our background footage and just bring some of these kind of highlights down like so. So bring some. Oh, bring some of these highlights down so we're darkening that back piece of footage and just even further so when we turn this on and off all it's doing is darkening that, pe that background piece of footage so it further heightens bringing that girl out so again we've gone from let's drag our original footage back on top we've gone from this to this okay and that follows the girl throughout the footage so that's one of the workflows of relighting footage in, in Nuke. So again, if if on if in post your lighting is a little bit messed up, this is one of the few ways, sorry, one of the many ways that you can relight footage and doing it with lights I, I often prefer. Um, so cheers for tuning in. Um, check out some of our other tutorials. Um, drop a like and a subscribe if, if this helped. And hopefully see you guys in a future tutorial.